welcome back to my channel today is friday is there ever a vlog that i haven't started that's been like today <sighs> What am I like? Anyway, today it's Friday and I have a very unfun Friday afternoon activity. I've been putting this off for a long time, but today we're getting ready for summer. Is it here? No, it's currently pouring down with rain. We've had some glorious weather recently, but it just so happens the day I filmed this, it's actually like very, very rainy. But I can't complain because it's gonna be lovely weather this weekend, which is so fab. But today is finally the day that I have dragged my summer clothes in its vacuum sealed bag down from my loft and I'm going to go through it, pick out some of my favorite pieces, which basically I store everything. So all my winter clothes during the summer, they get stored and then vice versa. I currently have all of my like very spring things down so today I'm going to be going through that. I'm also going to be trying everything on, seeing if I still like vibe with things, making sure everything's still like in good condition but I'm also going to pick out a few things to put on my Depop as well. So we are fully getting ready for summer. I also have some great basics I've just picked up Fingers crossed actually they're gonna be great. I don't know. I have a little H&M basics haul because there were some bits I saw on there and I was like, do you know what? Those are ideal pieces. I wanna pick those up. They'll be great for styling with like my white trousers. And as you know, as you can see, I love the H&M basic. So I think there's gonna be a lot of trying on today. I'm trying on old things, new things. I'm so excited. Like some of my dresses that I have in this bag, you will have seen like over the last like four years. I love my summer clothes. I love them so much. And some of the dresses that I own, I will just never ever get rid of. They are just amazing. And that is one of my biggest tips for your summer wardrobe, especially if you're in the UK. We don't obviously get to get the same amount of wear out of our like dresses, shorts, that kind of thing as we do our jeans shirts, jumpers, that kind of vibe. But anyway, my point is I cannot recommend storing your items in vacuum sealed bags and packing them away where possible if you have the storage space. I cannot recommend it enough. It just allows your wardrobe to have a little bit more breathing room and you're not overwhelmed when you look at your wardrobe and it's November but you're seeing like summer dresses. I cannot recommend it enough for just really feeling very, very fresh. Also, I haven't done this this year but I did this last year and I highly recommend actually at the beginning of the season getting everything out because it's almost like shopping but you're not actually shopping. It's like shopping your own wardrobe because you're reunited with all of these things that you're so excited about and it feels like you've been shopping and that you've got a whole new wardrobe so I do highly recommend doing this a lot earlier than I have but we've had the most miserable weather so I kind of picked a few bits out I packed my clothes away which was stupid I my clothes my coats I haven't had access to my coats since March and that was a big error on my part but anyway I do recommend doing it okay Are you ready kids? So I do need to disclose this when I did actually pull something out of this bag at the weekend because it was El Scorchio and it was fabulous and I pulled this out. This is my white H&M big oversized like tent dress from last summer. Oh, it is the best. It is just the best. I will pop a picture of me wearing this. I do need to throw it in the wash so I'm gonna put that in my to wash pile. Some of these things, when I get them back out, if they like just smell a bit funky, I will wash them. Oh yeah, this as well. This was, I have a black one of this as well, which I actually wear a lot when I'm gardening. These are from And Other Stories. And I did actually pull these out in the spring just in case there was a heat wave, which there actually was a little mini heat wave. And these were super handy, as you will have seen when I've just been like outside in the garden. These are just really easy key pieces to throw on. So that was also another thing that was out of this bag months and months ago. But apart from that, everything is still in the bag. Oh no, oh no, I'm lying, I'm lying. I also pulled out, as you will have seen in the What I Wore, the blue H&M dress. It's like a button up, so beautiful. Another dress that I know, I'll just, I'm never letting go of that. So yeah, those have been on my rail for a little while, but those are the only things I picked out. So everything else I'm super excited to be reunited with. And the first thing that I'm so excited about is this dress, which you will have seen last summer. There is something about purple in my life, not to get all like Kardashian weird, like universe energy kind of weird, but there is something about this color in my life. It was my nanny's favorite color and I don't actually love lilac, but it was her absolute favorite. And it just seems to follow me like this, the house, the, all the plants in the garden, they just end up being her favorite color. I feel like there's something weird subconsciously like going on. Yeah, I'm so excited to be reunited with this. It's the most beautiful dress. It's got like little lavenders all over it. It's such a cute one. You can kind of wear it with the sleeves up, off shoulder, one shoulder. It's just so, oh, so gorgeous. I might wear this this weekend. I've got a birthday brunch and I do need to pick my outfit. This could be an option. Oh, it's so pretty. 
This is from ASOS and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure about it. We're gonna have to try that on together. There's a lot of white dresses in here. I can't differentiate between all the different white items in there. So I'm fully like, this is why I need to go through the bag and like get everything out, try everything on. This is from last summer. This is Zara skirt, which I am really, really buzzed to be reunited with. I think this with like a white linen shirt that's kind of like tied so it's cropped. My words then didn't want to come out, but yeah, tied so it's cropped. Some of these dresses are gonna be a little bit not me, I think. So they may be depot, but I'm gonna have to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm, I'm not sure on this one. I really enjoyed it last summer, but I don't know if it's a bit too frilly for how I'm feeling at the moment. But this is the kind of situation where I may store things for another year and see how I feel the next summer because there are some things in this bag that didn't make it out last summer, but 100% will this summer. This dress from Reformation, I'm actually not sure on this year. I think, hmm, I'll try it on. I'll try it on. <laughs> We're basically gonna be trying on everything aren't we yeah this one this was my moving day dress like i remember this dress so well i actually don't know if i'll have this one out again this summer i think i might keep it for next summer it's a little bit oh it's inside out it's a little bit frilly i'll pop a picture here i don't think i want to try that one on i think i'm fairly sure that i don't want to wear it this summer but i love it i know this one i know this one i love this one so this one is from is it h&m yeah so this is the H&M version of my And Other Stories dresses. I love them, so I obviously wanted to have one in white. And I'm very excited to be reunited with that one. So that one is all good. This one I'm really excited to wear this year, and I didn't wear it last year, but I love it. And some of you will remember this from a long, long time ago. This is from Whistles. Oh, I think I had this. I think I bought it in 2017, and it is... Just stunning it's like this tiered midi dress but obviously quite long on me because you know my issues with height this is the kind of dress that i'm going to make an exception for with the ruffles because the silhouette of it is actually beautiful i haven't tried this on actually in such a long time so i'm really excited to see what it looks like on because i don't think i've tried it on since like 2017 maybe 2018 at best then have a little play suit from zara this is in a lovely nude colour again a really nice one for gardening in give that a little try on oh i didn't know i still had this i'm so excited about this so this is like the same style of dress as the one i just showed you but i have it in white from zara and it's so gorgeous i actually didn't know that i still had this and i'm very happy about that that's a maybe that is a maybe i'm trying to be reserved with the items that i have out this summer so it's like a little bit more of like my own kind of capsule wardrobe type situation this one i am just definitely not feeling i think even if i were to go on a holiday again ever in my life i don't think i'd wear this so i'm gonna wash that and depop it oh this dress i love i got this from asos i think again back in like 2017 and it is just beyond incredible so we have a black almost like a, a netted material actually kind of top and then it goes into this gorgeous like tall skirt that has this like astrology pattern on it it's so gorgeous and i really love how simple the like silhouette of this is but then you just have the beading on the skirt it's, it's stunning it makes me so happy. We then have my little cornflower blue. Is it cornflower blue or periwinkle? I think it's periwinkle actually. Thank you to everyone that reminded me of the name of the colour blues that I was thinking of in my H&M versus Mango video. This dress is gorgeous. I don't think I'll ever get rid of this dress because I love the colour and it's such a beautifully made dress. It's one of those ones that's not too like sheer. The material is really lovely. I'm just very, very happy with this purchase. It's a little ASOS number, just a little ASOS smock dress. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it this summer, but I'm not getting rid of it. We then have an old Zara number, which I love and we'll never get rid of because this was another like one of those pieces that they just never bring back and it's so beautiful and I can't find the top part of it. There we go, here's the straps. This one is just stunning. Lots of you, if you've been around a long time, will remember this and I'm going to try this on because I want to know what this looks like on now because I didn't wear it for a little while because it just felt a little bit too tight on me. So I want to see what it looks like now. And finally, we have this little dress, which I love. This Reformation dress is so pretty i do have this in a long version somewhere i think it might still be in the loft i'm gonna have to go up there and have a little 
loads around. This is the shorter realization par dress that has a little ruffle on it. I have pictures of me wearing this. Yeah, this is so pretty. I'm gonna try that on. These dresses are great because you can kind of tailor them whether you lose weight or if you gain a little bit of weight, they're like wrap style dresses. So they're just like perfect to have in your wardrobe over a long period of time. Okay, I'm thinking this one is a no. I do want to find the long midi dress version of this that I have because it's just a much more simple cut. These frills, I'm just feeling a little bit like overwhelmed by. I think it's a bit too pretty for how I'm feeling right now, which is funny because obviously the first lilac dress, I just love so much, but yeah, I'm just not feeling like this is like, the sleeve length isn't really right for me and the frills are a lot. I love the fact that you can really like cinch it in at the waist though, I feel like it just fits so beautifully because it does like wrap around from the inside. I need to find the midi version. This one is lovely. I'm definitely gonna pull this one out again to wear this summer. It's so pretty. I'm really happy with how it fits as well. I like the fact that it has the belt which can cinch you in at the waist. And I think it just fits really, really beautifully. This dress is just one of my favorites. Do I love it? Absolutely. Do I think I'm gonna get to wear it this summer? Absolutely not. This dress is definitely more one for if I have work events in the summer. I just don't think that I'm going to have enough of an opportunity to wear this this summer. I think if I were doing something really lovely and it's a really warm day and I'm in the appropriate situation, I just think there are some slightly more casual, lovely, long maxi dresses that I have for summer that would be a bit more appropriate, like if I'm doing a country stay and it's super, super hot. I just don't think this would be the one that I go for because it's still very dressy. This is one for like summer work events when I need to look very, very polished and pulled together, but I wanna go for like a minimal or neutral color. I maybe wanna wear a slight heel because this is very long. And to be honest, when work events aren't up and running, this kind of item just doesn't get as much wear in my wardrobe. So I think next year, potentially this would get so much. I know I wore it, I think a fair bit in summer 2019, but this year with no work events really popping off. I think it's gonna have to go back in the vacuum seal bag, sadly. Oh my gosh, I love this. Whenever I look at this and it's not on me, it's like on a hanger or just in my hands, I'm always like, I really don't like that. I don't need it. Why do I have it? And then I put it on and I'm like, I feel so cute in this. Like this is just one of those beautiful, really easy pieces that I keep in my wardrobe. It's perfect for just when I'm around the house, if I'm just going down the beach with my friends, if I just wanna feel super casual, but very, very nice and pulled together, like the cut of this is perfect. It fits really beautifully. I love the tie waist. It like cinches me in beautifully. The length of the shorts on this play suit are so great. I love the way it hangs. Like it's got a low back and it hangs really beautifully. I love it. I love it. I'm excited to have this back in my wardrobe. This dress is so great. I'm really, really excited to be reunited with this one. I love the length of it. I really like the fact that I can wear just a flat sandal with it, which will really help to casual it down because it is very, it's very frilly. I'm really not gravitating towards this kind of silhouette anymore, but this dress, there's something so sophisticated about it and I really, really love it. So very happy that I can wear a flat sandal with it to really help casual it down. I go for a very minimal style sandal just to offset the very feminine kind of shape that the skirt has. But I think the top half really helps to offset the skirt as well because it is just very much more minimal, very clean cut. It is just really beautiful. I haven't tried this on in so long and I'm so happy with it. It's really beautiful. I think for any kind of like summer social occasion, this one is a really nice one. So here I am reunited with my little white H&M dress. I love these style of dresses. I just think they're such timeless pieces to have in your summer wardrobe. I think in the UK, to be honest, like in the future, I would think about having like a summer capsule wardrobe just full of really easy timeless pieces that you just bring out again and again year after year and this would 100% be one of them it's just so lovely so easy I just would never look at this style of dress and be like oh that's a bit done now I've had a maxi version of this in black since I was 19 I want to say maybe 18 because I think I might I think I used to wear it to college you know this style of dress with like the ruching on top it's like elasticated so it tailors itself really well to your body and it can kind of change with you over time the kind of floatier long skirt like there is just something so wonderful about these dresses this one I'm not loving so much the neckline for one is very wide which would be fine if the boob area fitted well but it doesn't so it really like puffs out here and with the very like puffy sleeves it just feels like a little bit 
too much. I love the skirt and I don't mind the fact that it's ruched around the stomach. Would I prefer it in a smock style? Yes, absolutely. And I think that would kind of sort out the issue that I'm having here. But I just think it's kind of drawing the eye line this way instead of like vertically as I would like as a five foot two human being. <laughs> I haven't even bothered doing the backup on this one because I feel a little bit crazy. I can't decide if I look like a bird or a doll. Yeah, this one, I think it's just a bit too much for me. I just feel so not comfortable. I think it's like I have little wings. So I'm having some issues with my beloved white skirt in that it's high waisted, but it's not because you can see my belly button. It's meant to kind of sit somewhere here and it sits somewhere <laughs> down here which is not the ideal vibe. I have two options, I can either depop or put into storage and hope my hips come back and to be honest I might buy a real actual wrap skirt just so that I can actually tailor the skirt to the width of my, the width? Yeah, <laughs> just so I can tailor the skirt to my waistline because this one size situation just isn't working for me. Though a little poofy, this dress I actually love the colour of and it makes me understand why I had it in the bag of things to keep because the colour of it is so stunning even if the cut of the dress and the quality of the dress isn't quite there this colour is just stunning. I've got a mirror over here by the way. I actually really like the back of the dress as well but this is just such a beautiful colour for the summer. This is like one of my all-time favourite colours in a dress. This is the Susie Bernaldi brand colour on my homepage, it makes me really happy. And I really like the back, the back is cute. This dress is just one of my absolute favourites, it brings me so much joy. I wish and other stories would make this dress in like a midi to maxi dress. A midi dress for me, because otherwise if it was maxi, I don't think it would work with my height. It is just so, so pretty. I love how you can wear it in like a few different ways. I think my favourite way is just kind of like a little bit asymmetrical, but yeah. It is so gorgeous. I'm really happy to be reunited with this one. I just need some warm weather now so that I can wear all of these dresses. Like I need a month straight of like good weather. If everyone can just send some lovely heat wave vibes to me, that would be great. Thank you. Okay, so we have a pile of bits to hang up and we have a pile of things to wash, steam and make some decisions on. And then we have a very empty vacuum seal bag, which is great. So there should be a nice amount of space in that bag now once everything goes in at the end of the summer for the things that I purchased and kept this summer. So that went really well and was much quicker than I thought, which is amazing because I really need to get on with all my Depop bits. Basically, I have had someone helping me with Depop since I would say like September last year. She was a friend that had moved down to Brighton and she kind of finished uni and was like in between jobs and obviously COVID just made it so hard to get a job so I was like come help me out with my Depop stuff and lots of my admin and things like that but very sadly she has now got a full-time job which is goals and I'm so happy for her but it also means that I need to get on with all of the last bits that need to go on my Depop over the next month because she is leaving for the summer. So yeah in addition to getting my wardrobe ready for summer I need to get all of my stuff to be Depopped ready for her leaving in the summer. So it's good that I've got this pile here now because it means that over the next week I can just get it all washed and steamed and sort out a few other bits for Depop. So there'll be another nice summer drop coming for you very, very soon. There are still some bits up for grabs on my Depop at the moment, I think. I will link to it if you wanna go and have a look. There's still a couple of bags actually on my Depop. I also still have this to go through with you, but I do need to have some lunch because I am El starving -o. And I also forgot, I still have vlog footage from yesterday. So you guys can watch the vlog footage from yesterday whilst I go and have my lunch and we will regroup and do these bits together but just know if you see a food baby it is a food baby I don't normally film cutaways after I've eaten because I honestly can't deal with the comments that you get from being a human being and just doing the normal thing of eating <laughs> when you're like visible on the internet it is ridiculous but yeah we'll go through that in a bit vlog footage now and I'm gonna eat my show week I think this spot right here might be one of my favorite spots in the house. This is actual heaven right here. This garden, like I love looking at it. It just blows me away. I never thought I'd have a garden that is this pretty. It is just honestly filling my heart with so much joy right now. My little hydrangea out in the garden, which is just the most gorgeous blue color is doing 
so well. I think I'm gonna plant one because I have figured out how to hopefully keep them loose. So I think I might have a few more of these and hopefully they'll go this kind of like inside blue color in the years to come and it will be so pretty in my flower beds which are all like purples and greens and whites. The broccoli is looking wonderful. I actually need to harvest a lot of this today because some of it is looking like it's definitely, it's definitely done. My little wee apple tree has apples and then these are the beds. I'm obsessed with these. I can't remember what they're called. If I find out, I'll put it in the info box, but I'm really not sure. I feel like Josie and Charlie have some of these, so maybe check out their home account. But yeah, basically I go for any plant that is described as blue because it's this lovely kind of cool purple tone and it's just so wonderful. And that is why this spot right here is my favorite because you can see all those things while sitting here and it's just so lovely. Anyway, I'm gonna go get ready for the day. I'm gonna give Nala her breakfast and I'm also gonna try out a few of the bits that I got from Space and K yesterday because I'm so excited to try them. You want your breakfast? You want it? You want it? Okay. Wait. Oh, don't you be cheeky on camera. People think you're untrained. Most of my makeup is on. This is very similar to yesterday's makeup that I think I did with you. Was that yesterday? Honestly, my brain. The only difference is no eyeliner today. Honestly, my eyeliner is a good eyeliner, but it goes to show how like warm it has been because it is slipping a little bit. However, I have also been wearing SPF, which does not help. I'm actually gonna get started by, well, firstly, peeling the plastic off the top of this. I really like that Charlotte Tilbury did plastic on this one. That was very satisfying. So this is part of the latest Charlotte Tilbury collection, which is just an absolute dream. Very bridal, which is not a bad thing, even if you're not a bride, quite frankly, because that kind of like natural, really romantic makeup look is a look that I really gravitate towards anyway, I would say. So yeah, great for if you just love a very natural look, but this palette is so beautiful. They do it in a couple of different colorways. So this one, I would say is much better if you are fairer. And then there's another one. I think it's just the two of them, which is much better if you're darker. The bronzer is much darker. The highlighter is much darker. Think like the two Charlotte Tilbury contour and highlight kits. Oh, I miss those. Think those two, but kind of like a look in a palette type thing. So you have your like highlighty eye shade, your like lid color, and then your like smoky shade. And then you have your bronzer, face powder, highlight, cheek, which I'm not gonna use the whole thing today because I've got other things to put on my face, you know? So first thing I wanna try this, I'm dying to try this. So pretty, I'm just gonna pop this in my tear duct. By the way, if it looks like I'm like slightly leaning over, it's because I am. You're sitting on top of a box instead of a tripod because I'm feeling lazy today. That is so pretty. Honestly, I could cover my whole eyelid in that, quite frankly. I'm also going to use the face powder because the Charlotte Tilbury powders are unreal and I do need to powder a little bit. I'm actually gonna powder more once I've put the blush on, but it's a cream blush and I like to do creams first and then powders really. I've just gone for a very light base today. I'm actually literally just wearing foundation and concealer, like one layer of each, which is so rare for me. So we have the Hourglass blush sticks. I'm so excited by that like orangey red one. I can't tell you, but I think I'm gonna go for something a little bit more natural today, sadly. I'm thinking maybe this one, this is really beautiful. This is the shade Wonder. And then I also have the shade Loyal, which is very, very pretty as well. This would be a really nice like contoury blush kind of shade, like worn a little bit lower down, kind of worked up. Whereas like the red ones and the very pinky ones, I like to almost put like under my highlighter. This is a really nice kind of natural flush. So I'm gonna pop that where I normally would on top of my kind of cheekbones and cheeks to kind of lift the face. Just taking my regular blush brush and taking the product off and it's actually come off really well as well. And then just, that's really pretty. Sheerer than I expected, but I think that's a very good thing because otherwise that red shade would be slightly crazy on me, but that's really pretty. I think it's probably gonna show up better slightly on this cheek because the lighting's a little bit less blown out on this side. Yeah, you can see. So, so gorgeous. Ah, so pretty. I don't know what's happened to me, but in the past, yeah, I would say past year since I moved into this house, I've been such a blush lover. I think because I wear my hair off my face 
so much now. My face is actually more on show because normally my hair would be like here and that's actually the majority of the area where I like to put my blush. So, I don't know, maybe that's why. I'm just gonna try this, just a little bit on my nose, just a tiny bit. Oh, that's really nice. I like, <laughs> this is just me being weird, but I really like putting blusher on my nose. It's almost like, you know, when you've caught the sun, that kind of vibe. I would put those on my lips as well and really like fully test them out. However, I do want to use one of these. I might go with the tint because I'm especially intrigued by the tint. I think it's such a lovely one, especially if you're like a no makeup makeup lover or just you want something that is going to obviously like last so well. Side note, I feel as though the Hermes lip yesterday actually kind of did that. It kind of stained my lips. I really felt like it had rubbed off after my lunch, but then I looked at my lips and I was like, but the color's still there. So I'm gonna road test it because it might've just been like really, really long lasting and it hadn't actually rubbed off or it tinted my lips. I'm not 100%, I need to, I need to wear it again, but I'm trying out so much new stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna try the tint. Oh, that's really nice. It's actually much more pink than I expected, but in a really nice way. So I'm just applying a really light layer of this because as you guys all know, I obviously don't love pink pink but i wanted to wear something that wasn't like a nude today because i've got such a lovely pink blusher on i think if you've got any occasion where it's like a long day a lip tint is just such a great one and this is such a pretty color really really lovely and natural but like a nice pink tone really lovely for summer and spring however i, I might just put this on over the top actually because that is just so incredible so pretty so this is the shade wedding bells oh this is actually very similar Mm. Okay, so what you could do, in theory, is put the lip tint on underneath and then have your lipstick over the top. But you can kind of know that even if your lipstick wears off, you're still going to have the colour underneath. I actually think that's genius. It's Charlotte Tilbury, so of course she's thought about it, but that is actually genius. So I've already got a little bit of highlighter on, but I'm going to just add a little bit more from the palette. That's really nice. It's like a champagne-y tone, like the powder version of... The Vive highlighter that I love so much, so it's working really nicely over the top. I'm gonna go in with the face bronzer as well. I'm just gonna, I'm just going to sound with this now. I'm using my Spectrum brushes as well, in case anyone was wondering. I'm especially obsessed with the smaller Spectrum brushes. I think they allow for a much more like precise application. And then I'm finally just going to kind of powder all over. I really like doing under my eyes at the moment because wearing so much SPF, it just make sure that my makeup stays in place and doesn't start melting and slipping about. I'm so happy with this makeup look. I'm gonna leave all of the products linked in the info box in case you wanna check them out. I'm also wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Mascara as well. So I'll link that too. And then I've got Glossier Boy Brow on. Yeah, it's a really pretty look. I will leave everything linked in the info box. Oh, and base is YSL Touche Eclat and the Glossier Stretch Concealer, which I'm loving at the moment such a great like really dewy base so i've just been shooting some stories of these products nala has been patrolling the grounds <laughs> mistake a little update for you still absolutely loving this sheer lipstick from Hermes still not over the fact that it's 58 pounds but it's here now and I'm enjoying it okay people are you ready picked up a few bits lots of very basic pieces that could be good for summer firstly I saw H&M basically had the black version of my fave white dress which I believe is also from H&M yes so basically a very similar situation to my white dress that I showed you earlier, except the material is slightly different. It's a slightly looser, crinkly effect texture than the white one. It feels quite similar, like almost like a brushed cotton. I don't think it will be a brushed cotton, but I will check for you. Let me check. Oh, cotton. Well done me, well done me. But the real difference is that it's a little bit shorter, which I think would be really, really cute. I am gonna be very selective with these items, like they have to be bomb basics for me to keep them but there were just a few things that i was like oh 
that is what i need that is what i need this top is one of them it's like a real kind of like short sleeve do you know like we had that whole like padded t-shirt trend that kind of like same cut but no like padded shoulders on the t-shirt and i thought it would work so beautifully with the white trousers that i'm wearing today like tucked into this i can't take credit for this outfit idea one of my best friends nay she actually was like I need to find trousers like this because I want to wear them with this kind of top and this kind of outfit. And I was like, oh my God, H&M do those tops. So we both decided to buy the tops. So I'm excited to try them and style them with the trousers that I'm currently wearing. And they also do it in nude, which is goals because the nude goes really well with the white trousers. And then they also do it in black as well. See, I told you this was a real like basics order from H&M but I thought the black would go so well with these trousers. I love a black top whether it's a jumper or a t-shirt, a black top and white trousers is just my absolute fave. Like white and white is great, nude and white is great but black and white is like elite tier outfits you know. We then also have this little linen top which is more like an elevated basic. It's cute, it's strappy and bam that is the back. It is so adorable and i thought again it would work really beautifully with these white trousers that i love wearing so much at the moment but also with so many pairs of my like linen trousers that i own this would just work so perfectly on a really nice warm day but a day where i, I don't know why i really like having like my legs covered up but then a really nice like strappy top at the moment maybe it's because i'm lazy and it means i don't have to shave my legs probably that but anyway it's a look that i am loving so i'm really excited to get styling that top up with so many of my pairs of beloved trousers i also picked up this cute little white pair of linen shorts which are just so cute these don't need a belt which is great i have a much smarter pair from and other stories but they are like in need of a belt with them at all times because i have to fully cinch them in they're about two sizes too big for me so i picked these up i picked these up in a size small and oh they're a linen blend as well which is like super lovely i forgot to say what sizes i picked the t-shirts up in i picked the t-shirts up in a small in the nude an extra small in the white i think there were stock issues and then a small in the black as well and then the dress i picked up in a size extra small this is that kind of like smocky style dress that is just going to be super billowy so i went with the smaller size and then finally i also picked up this little nude dress which in hindsight may have to go back because i have enough dresses but it looks really cute and i love the top kind of half to it it's very very cute but the rest of the dress is very like minimal no ruffles or anything it's all just confined to this like top here do i need another dress absolutely not i may have to send the dresses back oh it comes with little straps as well cute i'll try them on for you i was having one of those moments of real weakness but the t-shirts in this fingers crossed they are good because those are the items in this haul that i'm so excited about i think especially as we seem to be approaching a fairly mild uk summer with zero prospect of travel really right now i think as of this morning they put portugal which was our one like green place I think they put it on the amber list. Obviously do your own research. I don't know if that's 100% true, but it just does look like I'm not really going anywhere anytime soon. So I'm kind of prepping for just like basics for in the UK, which will take me through the current season, but all seasons to come and work as really great basics in my wardrobe. And I currently literally don't have any t-shirts like that. I literally have like these and then black and white stretchy loose fabric ones. What are they called? Like a jersey kind of material. And those are the only t-shirts I have. Yeah, fingers crossed they fit. I will cut to the trials now. Can everyone just send me good vibes for these t-shirts because otherwise everything is going back. Okay, so we are switching up the filming setup today because I've been taking pictures here. Let me know if you like it. I don't mind if you don't. I just personally can't be bothered to move the mirror again. This dress, I just love i really love the texture of it it's got like a slightly washed effect to it so it's black but it looks like it's been through the wash about 100 times so i'm really interested to see how it works with the longevity of this like will it always stay looking like this and it's just always going to be a bit of a vibe so you never really notice like that it looks overly washed we'll see i really love it though i love the cut of it i really like the very low arms i think it just makes it a really great summer piece you're not too hot around this part of your body around your ribs i like the tiered effect to it and the crinkled fabric it's really really beautiful it's got almost like a very loose waffle texture to it just paired it with my 
and other stories black sandals and this one i really like as well because it looks kind of cute with a denim jacket which i'll show you now so there we have the denim jacket really cute just very easy to wear a really nice like summer throw on an outfit that you don't really have to think too much about it looks nice nice and comfy and casual very happy with this one i do wish they did it slightly longer but i'll take it because it's actually very rare that i get a midi dress in this length to be honest i really love this dress it hits that sweet spot between being very minimal but also really sweet and playful at the same time the material is nice and thick so not too see-through around the chest and it just flares out at the perfect point i'm so so happy with this the length is really great and i think it would be great for a range of heights as well if you're shorter it will be more of a maxi dress i'm five foot two for reference for anyone that is new here if i haven't said it already in this video so if you're under five foot two then it's probably going to be more of a maxi style dress and anything above it will start to look like more of a midi dress for me it's that kind of very long very very long midi dress i just paired it with my and other stories sandals which actually match so beautifully really really happy with it it's going to be such a lovely one for warmer days i think it will look really nice with a denim jacket or a cardigan thrown over the top if it gets a little bit chilly but yeah just a really lovely easy summer dress in a really beautiful very light pinky kind of ecru tone i really love this combo i'm pretty sure this top and this set of shorts were designed to be paired together and i do really like them together the shorts are actually a little bit more see-through than i would like you can tell predominantly because you can see the lining of the pockets i just think if you're going to make something a little bit more sheer either double line or don't give it pockets because they really give it away but i can also tell because i can see my tattoo through the shorts for me they'd be a more relaxed pair of shorts i have a very smart pair of linen shorts which i would wear if i wanted something thicker and a little bit more formal but in a linen texture whereas these i kind of bought with the purpose of them being more casual so it's not the end of the world for me but i know for some you might not like it the top i love i'm very happy that it has the adjustable straps because that has made this so much more wearable for me with the way it came it was so long and so loose and just kind of like flapping about but i've managed to adjust it and tailor it to my size i also love that it's got a tie back there's no zips or buttons or anything like that and designs like this are really great in terms of weight fluctuation like you can just adjust them to your body and how your body changes and i just absolutely love anything that is designed in that way i think it's so fab anything with like smocking elasticated waist tie backs adjustable straps i love it i'm here for it so i'm really happy with the top and the shorts as a little combo i think it's very very cute really easy to wear over the summer and again would look great with like a little denim jacket or even a shirt thrown over the top would look so cute cardigans this is a very versatile little outfit i've just paired it with my little tan camely i can't remember what color these actually are i think the color is actually called latte which is really cute my little light brown birkenstocks i think these always look really cute with shorts so these are the little black linen shorts and i've paired them with the black t-shirt i would say i could have gone a size down in the t-shirts they are very very roomy but that is very nice for the summertime there's a lot of room to breathe in them the arms are really wide which some people might love some people might not i think it makes them very breathable and very very nice summer t-shirts i've just paired this little combo with my brown birkenstocks and i think these two work really beautifully together actually it's a really nice easy summer combo that looks very pulled together but is so incredibly comfortable especially because of the linen shorts these are super super comfy and then the t-shirt is also incredibly comfy as well but the structure just lends itself to looking like a little bit smart which is gorgeous so very happy with these two i think i'll get a lot of wear out of these so i've paired the nude top with my white trousers from zara which i am so obsessed with at the moment the white t-shirt actually didn't match the white of the trousers which it's so annoying it's literally on my pet peeve of buying white things from zara and this one is incredibly annoying in particular because these trousers look white like to my eye they look white <laughs> and the white of the h&m t-shirt just didn't match up but that is fine we move i can still wear the black t-shirt with the white trousers which was something that i was very excited to do but i also thought i would see what the nude t-shirt looked like with them because the nude was the one that i think i was the most on the fence about if i'm honest i do find that this kind of nude tone it's not a warm nude it's a very cool tone like beigey oatmeal nude which i do find can really wash you out especially if you are more fair this nude is just like not it but unfortunately it seems to be the only neutral kind of tone that you can find at the moment if you don't want a white or a black however it does look very very nice 
with the white trousers so i will take that i've also paired it with my and other stories little ecru pinky very light blush sandals very happy with the structure of this top as well with the fit of these trousers i think they work really nicely together the t-shirts just work really beautifully at being a smart t-shirt but you can casual them up or down and i think i'm gonna get a lot of wear of them so i just want to take a moment for how easy these t-shirts actually are to get on as someone that does a full face of hair and makeup and then has to get changed a lot throughout the day i regularly <laughs> ruin my makeup or my hair putting t-shirts on t-shirts actually any clothing that just doesn't have like good stretch or a good neckline but these actually are so easy to get on with my hair and makeup so they are winning for me in terms of that because that's normally one of the reasons that i love a v-neck and normally can't get on with a round necked t-shirt because i just don't think far enough in advance so very happy about that i've paired the white t-shirt with my blue zara jeans these are mom jeans i believe i love these i love the tone of them they're that beautiful kind of like indigo blue tone i just love them and they look so great with a white t-shirt and i've just paired them with my and other stories sandals Copyrighted for this, how does that work? I'm not sure, but I feel like if we keep talking enough, then. La, 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 la. <laughs> do you get tempted to do this? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Gorgeous morning. Kitchen is looking lovely today. Chef Ryan has just brought me a bagel. Brown sausage. Mm, I think I might melt some cheese into this. It looks so good. I got these flowers in at Tesco's yesterday. They're like giant alliums and I am obsessed with them. I tried to grow these and failed spectacularly, but at least I can buy them in a bunch for my kitchen. They're so pretty. I also got this gorgeous bunch from by Killian on Friday and they are so beautiful i love them here my my chairs <laughs> ryan immediately comes in and sits in one and then they just look <laughs> they look completely odd ignore them these are so beautiful like real wedding flower vibes i'm really sad i haven't been here for most of the weekend to enjoy them my hydrangeas are in full bloom i'm so happy with these oh they're just stunning and i am getting ready to mow the lawn because it is looking a bit crazy these two are living their best life. I also went to the garden centre yesterday and picked up a few bits and whilst I was there I picked up some new strawberry plants because sadly the ones that I was already growing have been mauled to death. I'm having to use my kitchen sieve to protect them so I bought some little protector thingies as well. I also got another tomato plant just because my orange one, my red tomatoes are doing great but my orange tomatoes died back in like end of April. The broccoli has been fully cut back because it was getting a bit out of control and I couldn't eat it fast enough for it to all be flowering. I think I've got some more flowers coming on these bits here but hopefully it will still be giving me a little bit of broccoli for the next few weeks to come. Princess is loving the sunshine. Mm -hmm. 
loving the sunshine i've also spent the morning organizing my bikinis because they were in these two boxes which as you can see are now very much looking a little bit worse for wear but i loved loved well i still love but not so much anymore loved my matches fashion boxes for storing things because they're the most pretty boxes i did get a new one i think i can't remember what i ordered i ordered something last year and i got a new box from them but it is very small so what i've done is just stored my like really annoying tangly bikinis that i can't be bothered to fold and roll in this so that i always know where they are because they are the ones that i reach for generally the most i'm actually like practically needing a bikini but all of my like fashion bikinis and swim costumes are now in this big net -a box which i managed to get just before they've changed they recently changed the net -a boxes i really rate the old ones i'm just going to put it out there and this one is the perfect size for the majority of my bikinis and there's definitely room to expand not that i will because i definitely have more than enough i feel that in terms of my wardrobe i am now fully ready for summer which is great because i feel like summer is finally ready for us look at this weather gorgeous so my pre lawn mowing snack <laughs> the lawn mower is just out there like staring at me my pre lawn mowing snack is this bagel of dreams Ugh. so there's vegan sausage in here hash brown and then i've just put this cheese over the top and this cheese is like my favorite vegan cheese it's just like a spicy cheese i love it so just in case anyone was wondering this is what i was wearing when i was making my lunch it's this dress from daily sleeper which i love basically i will show you what happened to my beloved nasty girl dress which you guys will know i love so much i'll show you what happened to that one but i decided to pick the daily sleeper one up which is basically the designer version that all of these dresses i think are pretty much modeled on these are beautiful they're like a linen feel they're so gorgeous they're really comfortable to wear and really light lots of people on instagram i posted this the other day were concerned that it was too see-through and i actually just wear a skims like little strapless bar underneath this it wasn't really a problem for me something to note is i am very dark around here so things might be a bit more see-through for me than for you if that makes sense and i love the way this one fits it's much more fitted around the chest and ribs which was the thing that i always struggled with with the nasty girl dress it was baggy here and then obviously floaty down here so yeah when what happened to it happened i was like do you know what i'm actually gonna get a good quality version in a size that fits because i know i will wear it so much like the linen feel it is so light it's so gorgeous honestly it is boiling today and i still feel really nice and cool in this even though it's got sleeves and could be a recipe for being very very toasty <laughs> so yeah let me show you what happened to the nasty girl on I'm so sad about this as you will see it's only got one arm which is the first issue which is fixable it is fixable but then i also got this stain on it i don't know if it will show up as well on camera but it's really really obvious especially if i'm like wearing it and this is this is obviously like stretched out you can really see it when i'm wearing it on camera and i feel really awkward just like having a stain on my top it's been through the wash twice and it's still there it's actually my spf yeah. that is what happened to the nasty girl dress very very sad <laughs> okay so a quick tour of the beds as promised this is my veg bed which looked so empty when i got it about a year ago now just under a year ago these are the strawberries in their little cages hopefully we will have a good strawberry harvest if i have it my way and i get my kitchen sieve back which is also great we have carrots over here what well, maybe cucumbers if anything happens to them i'm not sure i have kale which has been growing this has been the best most long-standing one that i've had since about november and we have parsley which is just this was from like one that i bought from sainsbury's that came and it was about this big and <laughs> it loves my garden basically nothing that i wanted to plant ever really pans out so i just kind of experiment and see what my garden 
likes or what likes my garden. I've got my tomatoes here, here and here. I think these are all red ones and then that's a an orange one. It's very full at the moment but I feel like this is on its last legs and this one is on its last legs too. So in terms of the flower beds, this one runs right up the length of the garden. It's very, very long. This, as you can see, gets a lot of shade down here. So I've planted mostly things that love the shade. So I've got white hydrangeas here which were actually in the flower bed but just about here i want to say just on the cusp of shade and sun they hated it even though the tag said it could be put in like part shade i've come to the conclusion that even though this is not a south facing border because of the way my garden is set out and my my house isn't very tall i get a lot of sun things do differently here is what i have found so it's all just a bit of an experiment and i move things around so i moved this one into a pot and it is thriving i kid you not it was like it was brittle and brown and i managed to save it hopefully that will be flowering little white flowers very soon so tall now i can actually see it when i sit down in the kitchen which is lovely this is a camellia which had loads of white roses on it they've all kind of like died off now it may give me some more i'll see but it's growing in size which is lovely to see i've got some mint down here which is in a plastic pot to contain the roots also i don't know why there is such a mess over here i think there's been an animal over here because that was not me i then also have a, i then have a climbing hydrangea back here it's kind of being very much overshadowed by the giant rhubarb which i planted last autumn so can someone tell me when this is ready because i know they always say the following season but i planted it at an awkward time so if anyone knows i'd love to know the kale here is thriving it is so big let me give you oh thanks nala nala for reference look at how big <laughs> these plants are then have some thyme i've got lots of different thyme sage in different formats going up the border lots and lots of herbs and if it comes in purple chances are it features in this flower bed i've got olive trees got some lavender here this is a i can't remember what it's called it's not an allium but it looks very similar i've just planted these these were new we have this climber which i believe is honeysuckle more lavender which as you can see is just about to go purple which is gorgeous my roses my roses are incoming i'm so excited then we have some rosemary i have rosemary lavender and a couple of other bits in my front garden and it just ties in nicely with the back garden i like things to flow nicely we have more olives purple sage this is i believe white lavender these tall plants here are verbena this is a magnolia kind of shrub tree thing basically i don't see anything in here as like has to stay i'll move things around and again you see the same plants just repeated on and on up the flower bed this is actually a peony bush i would have had the most lovely little bunch of peonies this year but the bad weather that we had literally like a few weeks ago knocked out killed a lot of the plants so this one hates me right now everything started looking like it had been burnt it was not cute this is my new little project it's the only one that i haven't planted in today because i need to prep the soil around it a little bit i have my ph testing kit i am ready to go scientist Suze is going to be out in full force i'm pretty confident that i'm going to do this well i'll give it a go i don't care if it goes pink it goes pink because i already have the stupid dahlias down there in pink so we'll, we'll work with it another giant kale and then we have artichokes down here as well i'm a bit of a cowboy when it comes to gardening i'm just kind of like a stick it in and if it thrives it thrives and if it doesn't it dies and i just accept that because I don't like to worry about it too much but with these flower beds i was just like i'm gonna throw in some veggies see how they do and everything is doing very well we have a curry plant which i love i love the tone of it i love the smell of it it's great and it is thriving here i just make sure to not give it too much water compared to everything else and it loves life we then have more rhubarb and a magnolia tree looking very cute i have visions of it one day being like here that would be so sweet i also moved my geranium to this little pot here which i picked up the other day and that is because it basically was the only white plant in this flower bed and it just looked like there was a bit of tissue in the flower bed or like a bit of rubbish or something so i decided that it would look cute here and i think it does what do you think it does
So I've just done my skincare. I'm getting ready for bed. I've got my little cup of tea. It's such a tiny cup. <laughs> it's so cute. I've just used the Promise Keeper Blemish Sleeping Facial on my skin. It looks so nice and glowy. I still get questions every day on my skincare routine. I've done a full skincare routine, like an AM and PM in a vlog. So I will link that for you if you have any questions because that's like the best thing to refer to. And if you have any questions on top of that, you can always drop me a little comment or a DM but I think I'm gonna leave it here for this vlog because I've been filming for what feels like forever just here and there but it feels like it's been going on forever but I hope you've enjoyed watching me get ready for summer and just enjoyed seeing a few little bits of what I've been up to over the past week I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you guys again very very soon love you loads bye love you loads you can tell I'm tired it's meant to be lovely bye love you bye